Hey everyone, it's Matt here. Welcome back to another episode of Savant's Tech Talk. Social media has become an essential part of our lives. And amongst the most successful social media platforms is Facebook. 2020's first quarter stats reveal that the platform has over 2.5 billion active users each month. Today, I'm going to share how you can get started building an app like Facebook, from the planning to the minimum viable product, the important features, choosing between Android or iOS, the app's mock-up, wireframe, and prototype, as well as the app's backend, the app's front-end, and the dashboard. As always, if you have any questions or comments as you watch this video, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoy this video, and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. If you have an idea that you think will revolutionize the social media industry, then now is the time to build it. In this video, we'll discuss the crucial steps to bring your app idea to a reality. Now let's start with planning. You need to have a plan before you start the project. Instead of just hiring developers right away, which is quite expensive, start with the basics, do your homework, finalize the design, list the features, create sketches, and if possible, get feedback from potential users. Be sure of what you want before approaching the programmers and developers, and this will save you time and money. Once you've completed that, you can start building the minimum viable product. Now, you don't want to spend too much time on the minimum viable product. You should probably set a target of having the MVP ready within three months. And while this may not seem like enough time, you want to get it up with the core features because unless you collect the feedback from your users, you won't understand which features are really essential to them and which features you should probably be letting go of. There are thousands of apps to get launched each day, so you will have to offer a tested app for it to really stand any chance of being successful. Now let's have a look at some of the must have features if you're building an app like Facebook. Now, of course, you're gonna need a user interface. The focus should be enhanced usability with a simple and elegant design. You'll also need a feed. In fact, this is the most basic feature in all the social media apps. This will allow users to receive the latest updates. You'll also need push notifications. These are real time notifications that can make a huge difference to the app. You'll also want chat and file sharing. The chat feature allows users to connect on private, public, and group conversations. The video and image sharing feature will enable your users to share their content. Of course, you're gonna need profiles. Enable your app to make profile modifications from the app interface itself. The more pleasant the user experience is, the better your chances will be at success. You'll also wanna offer customization. Enable users to add, remove, or edit friends, connections, and groups easily. Of course, instant messaging. Most popular social media channels have their own instant messaging apps. This feature is sure to increase your popularity, and while you're at it, also include file sharing features. Other basic features include user management, security, geolocation, a web portal for your app management, in-app communication, data source integration, as well as payment system integration. Choosing between Android or iOS. Now I'd actually recommend going with both, but something to keep in mind when you're creating your app is that Android users make up a larger share of mobile users, while iOS users tend to be more engaged and have more spending power. Now for a quick note about the app's wireframe, mockup, and prototype, having all of the above ready saves your money and time on app development. You can change the design, which is faster than coding, and you will get more time to fine tune the functions. Now let's look at the app's backend. Here's where it's time to start coding. The user will never see this part of the app, but the backend handles tasks like business rules, generating the APIs, storing and recovering data, et cetera, et cetera. The backend can be created by coding it yourself or using backend as a service. Now let's look at the app's front end. You'll need to ensure that the front end is clean, attractive, and has functional features. Choose between developing a native, web, or hybrid mobile app. While native apps integrate well in mobile devices, the hybrid app works well with the development of both Android and iOS. As for web apps, it offers limited functions. Now let's discuss the dashboard. You require app analytics as it will give you access to vital metrics. The insights aid you in improving existing features, revenue, existing users, etc., etc. You have to draft a privacy policy in terms of use, or you can simply purchase a template. This is when your app is ready to be published. Creating an app like Facebook is not an easy task. 
make sure you first have a high level specification ready before thinking about building it. Once you have a plan ready and find a demand for your app, you can hire developers to make it. So there you have it. We've discussed all of the things that you should consider when building an app like Facebook. From the planning to the minimum viable product, the important features, choosing between Android or iOS, the app's mock-up wireframe and prototype, the app's backend, the app's frontend, and the dashboard. Do you use Facebook? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you for watching.